Бабо, какво ще ядем днеска, бе? Пиле с бял сос ще ядем. Ма само това дето много скучно ми звучи. Искаш ли нещо по-вълнуващо? Да. Нати. Hi there comrades, today we are making chicken bechamel or how we like to call it chicken with white sauce. As you can imagine bechamel is not the most slav thing but eventually we slavified it and now we are using it in quite a lot of dishes for your surprise. Some of them are kyuftet afrikase which is basically meatballs with white sauce, pile bechamel which is the recipe we will be preparing today, chicken bechamel. Пълдени чушки с бял сос, which is directly translated to stuffed peppers with rice and minced meat with white sauce. All of these eventually will be preparing in the future. Bechamel typically is a sauce prepared from a white roux. Roux is basically a mix of one to one ratio from butter and flour and after that milk is added to it. Bechamel is known as one of the mother sauces in French cuisine. And some versions of it have a seasoning base, nutmeg and salt. And yeah, we'll be using both of these. Some legends attribute the invention of the bechamel sauce to Louis de Bechamel, a financier who held the honorary post of chief steward of King Louis XIV of France in the 17th century. Others assert that this sauce was brought to France from Italy and its name comes from a different source such as beautifying masks used by a woman in Florence. The first name of the sauce appears in 1733, published in some cookbook by, again, a person whose name I cannot pronounce. Our variety of this sauce is quite different, but in its essence it utilizes the same products. We don't use the one-to-one -one ratio of butter and flour, and sometimes we use yogurt instead of the milk. The yogurt version is the classic way to prepare the meatballs and the stuffed peppers. This sauce was one of my favorite when I was a child to eat it with a nice white fresh bread. Maybe this is why I was called a seal in school. Now let's see how to prepare this chicken with one of the slab versions of bechamel by starting with the products. You need 650 grams of T-Rex relative breast 20 to 25 milliliters of NEC juice, sunflower is the best by the way, 30 to 40 grams of white dead, not more, no less, 25 to 30 grams of cow juice fat, 300 milliliters of whole cow juice, you can use even more if you want, you need one vinegar fruit, actually we'll use half of it but yeah, they don't sell them in halves, you need some tasty mineral, nutmeg, not sure what it has to do with nuts, and some pepper. After that you enter secret codes for the Slavic sequence for making white sauce chicken. Cut your chicken into pieces, this is its last resort. Cut it from at least three different angles to achieve full blown epicness. Make sure to do big chunks, if you do small you may end up with dry chicken, which is never a nice thing. Now that you have your chicken cut to perfection, it's time to go to the stove. Heat a lot of sunflower oil into a pan of choice. I use a big one, so I'll have place for my sauce after that. We're cooking everything in one pot. We'll save money from the water bill this month. <laughs> nice. Give it a nice stir and leave it to cook. Stir from time to time until it starts to change its color. Add in some water and let it simmer with the lid on. You can use other chicken meat, even thighs and drumsticks. While your chicken is cutting, cut a lemon in half and take its juices out. We will dehydrate that, that lemon and feast upon its liquid for our sauce. Meanwhile, we will prepare a kashichka. This means slurry in babushka language. Just take the flour and add some cold water to it while whisking fast. Make sure not to leave clumps of flour because after that someone will have a nasty surprise. Prepare our milk, 
we Slavs like to measure almost everything with cups, spoons and glasses, much like our American capitalist rivals. Meanwhile our chicken has cooked. It takes around 10 minutes, which means it's time for our slurry to enter the game. Make place for it and pour it while stirring. Make sure to mix a lot after you add it until the sauce starts to thicken. Add in our butter and continue mixing until the butter completely dissolves. Add a generous amount of freshly ground pepper, preferably not taken from the ground. Add tasty mineral by taste. Add some nutmeg, this is optional by the way. Fun fact, nutmeg in big quantities can make you hallucinate. Second fun fact, nutmeg is probably slav. Add in cow juice and mix well again. Have a taste test to see if it needs something. Bob Babushka told me that you should always taste the food you're cooking. This is what great chefs also say. You may eat half the food this way, but it's for the greater good of food. Add in the lemon and mix again. Leave it to simmer for 5 or 6 minutes and we are completely ready with the white sauce chicken or poor man's bechamel or skinny bechamel or you can call it whatever you like. Bonus slabness. Bonus round, this goes well with white bread to dip or with rice. So we'll make some nice rice in addition. It will be basmati rice this time, which is not the standard slav rice, but I find it very easy to cook. Add in the rice, add 3 times the water, so if you add 150 grams of rice, you add 450 grams of water. Add in some spices, I add also some beef broth, put on the stove and let it boil. Once it starts boiling, lower the temperature immediately and leave it to simmer until all water disappears. After a while you are rewarded with perfectly boiled rice without using any rice cookers or fancy capitalist utensils. Swap difficulty level 3 out of 5 I would say, just follow the steps and you'll be ok. The tricky parts are thickening the sauce and making sure your chicken does not overcook. The other tricky part is boiling the rice but this is a skill that comes with time. Time to make some fancy serving. I use the ring which I use for baking typically. Fill it up with rice and release the clip. That way you have a fancy something of rice. Add some pepper on top and start adding chicken. 5 to 6 chunks of chicken are good for one portion. Add a generous amount of sauce, which by the way is so creamy. Some more pepper on top and fresh parsley. As it goes really really well with, with everything. Also it's adds a nice color and freshness to our dish. Energy, if we split all we cooked into 5 portions and add 60 grams of rice to each portion, we have 528 calories, 56 carbs, 36 protein and 16 fats. If you want chicken in a different yet tasty way, try this out. It's one of the easiest way to make chicken tasty. You can also go with other meat or even meatballs. But the meatball variety is a story for another time and can be quite different. I hope you like this love variety of bechamel with chicken and if so make sure to like the video. Slav you next time.